So in the last video we have talked about uh, this file. So we have car.java and we have a car class. We have app in which we have a main function, then we have bike and then we have vehicle interface. Uh, this is our configuration file and this is my pom.xml which is for Maven. Now what we'll do is just to go beyond the exam, just go ahead of this, let's create a new file and then we'll name this class as tire. In this tire what we'll be having is we have, uh, so let's say we have private string and we'll name this variable as brand. Okay, so let's say uh, if you talk about tires, so tire will be of different brands, so maybe MRF, C8, or all different, uh, or Bridgestone maybe. So we have lots of companies who make uh, tires. So for this brand, we require a getter and setter. So let's take this getter and setter here. And we'll say, okay. Now we got getter setter for this brand. Now in this, uh, let me print, not here, maybe. Okay. So let's let's print a uh, data. So let's uh, so if I try to print the object of tire, I want to print its data. So I will just use a two string method just to print the data of the tire, and I will use this, which will print the brand name. Now I want to create object of that tire in this class. Okay, so let me just comment this vehicle for time in. Let me just use this comments. Let me create object of tire. Now how to get object of tire? So we have to say tire. Then you have to say t equal to new tire, right? But again, uh, whenever you use a new keyword, it adds some dependencies. So what we'll do is uh, we'll remove this dependency and we can simply say, uh, I need a tire object. So I will say context dot, uh oh, ignore the error. Okay, so context dot get bean, and then here we'll mention I want a tire. But hold on, we are not we have not mentioned this tire in our XML file. So if I go to XML file, you can see we don't have anything called as tire. So either we can use I can we can define this tire using annotation based configuration as we have done then in the last video, or we can do with the help of uh, XML based configuration. So just for the example, for this type of example, for the example what I have to explain, I will use XML for tire. So how to use XML, so we have to define a bean tag. In this ID we have to mention we are working with tire. And then we have to say class equal to. And then it is com.navin.telisco.tire. And again, I know I, we should not use a package name with capital letters, but uh, that's okay for the example. Okay, so now uh, I got an object here and yeah, we are ready to run this. So let's print, let's print T here. And now if I print T, so if I run this, you can see output is tire and brand is equal to null. Oh, why null? It's because in this tire, we are creating a variable called as brand. In case of car, in case of bike, we don't have any variables. What if you talk if you talk about tire, we have a, a string called as brand. Then we have one more dependency here. So brand becomes a dependency. That string variable be, uh, becomes a dependency for your tire class. Now how to add that dependent or to, how to solve that dependency? So we have to. So for this class, which is tire, this brand here is a property, right? So Spring allows you to set a property. So we have, we, have, we have a property name as brand and then we can specify a value. So we'll say the value is MRF. So it belongs, it's, it's a MRF tire. And now if we run this, here we go. We are getting a brand as MRF, as simple as that. So we can simply specify the brand name or the property inside a bean tag. This is how we do it in XML format. Simple. So let's say in future, if I want to change from MRF to let's say C8. So let's say if I use C8 here, and now if I run this application, so if I run this, it will be brand C8. Simple. So that's how you add a property tag inside, uh, inside your bean. 
So that's from this video. In the next part, we'll talk about uh, different types of properties. So this is the property where we can specify the value. Next, we'll talk about the value thing. So that, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, do subscribe for other videos.